Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we give you praise, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, once again, O oh Lord, we come here, Lord Jesus. I appreciate you for all the things that you have done, O oh Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, we bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. King of kings, everlasting king, we bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. We ask, the Lord, you at this hour, Lord, that we have sinned against you, Lord, consciously, unconsciously, Lord. Let the have mercy and cleanse us from all our righteousness in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us, O Lord Jesus, and wash us, Lord, with your precious Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Move, Lord, just tonight, O Lord Jesus. Let your glory fill this place, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, Lord, has been somebody. The blood of Jesus over everything we're doing here tonight, Lord Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Braka Pairi. The Baruch, 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 Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. King of kings. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah.
Ourselves in the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, our spirit, so avoid the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Rata, 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 r
the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Everything we do here tonight, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Father, come down your power, come down your might. Rato yo toro iba shinebo roko po iba azare iba. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Ma zane ne ma sani lebo roko po iba iba. Manifest yourself, Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord Jesus. The blood, 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 the blood. Raka para irebo, shiriba rata irebo, roko po irebo, rata irebo, redia. Nene ma sani irebo, roko irebo. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Me nene ma sani irebo, roko po irebo, shiriba. The blood, the blood, the blood. No weapon form against us shall prosper. Every time I rise up against us, judgment. The name of Jesus, you are condemned by the power and the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Rata irebo, koko irebo, shiriba shiriba. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, of Jesus. the blood, the blood, the blood. 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 The blood, Mi nomo suburu bo hi ki para de bo ro ko pirba ra ta de bo ro ki ba ire bo stia mi nema sa de bo ro ko pirba ra ta de bo stia mi nema sa de bo ro ko pirba ra ta de bo stia mi nema sa de bo ro ko pirba ra ta de bo stia mi nema sa de bo ro ko pirba ra ta de bo stia ra ka pa ire bo ro ko pirba the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus perfect all the consensus of the Lord now move your power move your strength Lord Jesus Ratterebo, shigeba, kerebo, rodeba, dia. Nene man, zerebo, ratterebo, rok, pireba, ratterebo, dia. Nene man, zerebo, surubo, hireba, hireba, dia. Nene man, zerebo, rok, pireba, ratterebo, dia. Make it past the kerebo, rok, pireba, ratterebo, dia. Nene man, zerebo, hireba, hireba, dia. Nene man, zerebo, rok, pireba, dia. Make it past the kerebo, rok, pireba, ratterebo, dia. Nene man, zerebo, hireba, hireba, dia. Ratterebo, surubo, shigeba, hireba, dia. Nene man, zerebo, rok, pireba. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Redeba hirbostia, matia pa hirbo rodia. Come down, Lord, to that Lord. Your power, your strength, Lord Jesus. Masandrea, in your power, your strength, Lord. Manifest yourself, Lord, in every area, in every na consensus, Lord. Nene masandrebo rodia, make pa hirbo rodia. May your name alone be glorified. Masandre mo sobreba, make pa hirbo rodia, hirbo stia. Nene ma se debo ro ko hirba hirbo stia. Nene ma se debo ro ko hirba rata hirbo hirba. Nene ma se debo ro ko hirba hirbo stia. Now I surrender. Now I surrender. Running ma se debo ro ko hirbo stia. Running ma se debo ro ko hirbo hirba stia. No no mo stia. Break hirbo stia. Break hirbo stia. In the name of Jesus. Nene ma se debo ro ko hirba hirbo stia. Broko po hirba rata hirba. Nene ma se debo ro ko po hirba rata. Nono mo se debo hirba hirba stia. Nene ma se debo ro ko po hirba hirba. Ma se the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Come down on your power. Come down your might, Lord Jesus. Speak to us, Lord Jesus. Let there be healing, Lord. Let there be deliverance, Lord Jesus. Ma se nene ma hirba hirba. Nene ma se that you after all, your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Ma sani lebo reya. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. We welcome again tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy, and is only worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. There's no one like Him, no one beside Him. No one can know the things He do. He does. Hallelujah. And I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord will touch, the Lord will heal, the Lord will do go beyond our expectation tonight. That after all, we will have the reason to say glory to your holy name. We will say truly, the Lord has visited us tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Before God, you let me just to add the Lord. Speak to me tonight, Lord Jesus. Is there anything in me? Is there any 
some internal struggle that they are going through that I don't really un understand, I don't know. Let your mercy, Lord Jesus, come down to me. Amen. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My son, I dedicate myself once again to you, Lord, just tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Father, Lord Jesus, let your word tonight. Let this, O Lord, moment, O Lord, your presence, O Lord. My ratari unveil and disconnect and destroy and do great things in my life that I will always look back, O Lord, and say, truly, you have done great things in my lives. In the name of Jesus. Move your power, move your strength, O Lord, just tonight. And your name alone according to the glory of God. Thank you, Lord, for the things you've done. Thank you, Lord, for the things you do. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Tonight, in the name of Jesus. I want us to open the scripture, the Bible. We're going to take our Bible reading from Esther chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5. In short, we're going to do Esther 5 and 6. Revelation chapter 5 and 6 also. We'll do two chapters tonight. In the name of Jesus. We've done those those uh, the five five. I would just want us to uh, kind of review and uh, continue. So we're done because it's quite a, a while now, about two or two days now we we would not uh, and we have uh, done this. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you, Lord. You let your presence come down tonight. Move your mighty way and your name in your way glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Esther chapter 5 from verse 1 to end. Hallelujah. Spirit of God, speak to us. Open our eyes of understanding. In Jesus' name. Amen. Chapter 5 On the third day, Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace in front of the king's quarters, while the king was sitting on his royal throne inside the throne room opposite the entrance to the palace. And when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court, she won favor in his sight, and he held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. Then Esther approached and touched the tip of the scepter. And the king said to her, What is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given you even to the half of my kingdom. And Esther said, If it please the king, let the king and Haman come today to a feast that I have prepared for the king. Then the king said, Bring Haman quickly, so that we may do as Esther has asked. So the king and Haman came to the feast that Esther had prepared. And as they were drinking wine after the feast, the king said to Esther, What is your wish? It shall be granted you. And what is your request? Even to the half of my kingdom it shall be fulfilled. Then Esther answered, My wish and my request is, If I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it please the king to grant my wish and fulfill my request, let the king and Haman come to the feast that I will prepare for them, and tomorrow I will do as the king has said. And Haman went out that day joyful and glad of heart. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, that he neither rose nor trembled before him, he was filled with wrath against Mordecai. Nevertheless, Haman restrained himself and went home, and he sent and brought his friends and his wife Zeresh. And Haman recounted to them the splendor of his riches, the number of his sons, all the promotions with which the king had honored him, and how he had advanced him above the officials and the servants of the king. Then Haman said, Even Queen Esther let no one but me come with the king to the feast she prepared, and tomorrow also I am invited by her together with the king. Yet all this is worth nothing to me, so long as I see Mordecai the Jew sitting at the king's gate. Then his wife Zeresh and all his friends said to him, Let a gallows fifty cubits high be made, and in the morning tell the king to have Mordecai hanged upon it. Then go joyfully with the king to the feast. This idea pleased Haman, and he had the gallows made. Chapter 6 
Chapter 6 On that night the king could not sleep, and he gave order. See, I pray in the name of Jesus that those who have determined against you, they will use their own hand to put themselves into trouble. But there's something about God here. God will always want to distract, to make sure that you, it doesn't, it, it, God doesn't take pleasure in killing anybody. It doesn't take pleasure to see anybody that he has created suffer. It doesn't take pleasure at all. He always opens the door for escape. Always open the door of escape. Even though in the book of, um, uh, uh, in the book of, uh, Exodus, you know, the, the way the Lord, you know, Bible says that, you know, and the Lord had in Pharaoh's side, the Lord had in Pharaoh's side, the Lord had in Pharaoh's side, because he wanted to do. Even if God did not have in his side, he will still continue in that his wicked way. Because there's something about pride. There's something about pride. When pride has taken over you, you, you don't, you become so stubborn into reality. And that's the reason why the spirit of stubbornness is, the Bible says, it's like a spirit of witchcraft. It's like someone selling their soul to the devil. And the most funny thing about this spirit of witchcraft is most times it is, it is, it is very, very rampant these days in religious setting. Christians. Very, very rampant in religious settings. You become so proud, so pompous. If you can, if you know the Bible, if you can teach the Bible, if you have, have a bit of, you know, people's, people's acceptance, it, it, it can, it becomes so, people become so puffed up. You God help us in the name of Jesus. Even the, the, in the presence of Saul, before Saul died, the Lord opened so many avenues. Even brought David to, help David to, so the devil can help him to, to come out from that despair. But unfortunately, the spirit of witchcraft, that the spirit of rebellion, will not allow him. Kofiro was thinking, oh no, these guys have been under me. They have been, they cannot do anything. After all, they've left the land of Canaan for how many years? 200 and something years. They don't have any future. They can't go anything. That they are under my control. How, how can they live? Where are they going? You know, they, they go anywhere, you know, they will still come back to me. And therefore, let me frustrate them further and try to let them know that they can't go anywhere. That they don't know me. Who told you? Who told you? Let them not allow what we know or what we, what the thing we have achieved deceived us. God can do without you. God can do without me. God can do without any any of us. Didn't he do without 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 Moses? You have to think, oh, is it possible that God can God did without him? Even with a better person. But in those days, look at it, there's nobody who is better than than, than Moses. God can do without anybody, even without human being. God can still be God. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus as we see ourselves, the Lord have called us into ministry, or we, you know, God has called us as 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 as, as oracle. Let that let us humble ourselves more and more. But that humility will go a long way in turning things around. But we thank God can see this very scripture that Esther humbled herself. America told him, told her, if you will not come out to be used by God to save the children of Israel, the Lord will do without you. The Lord will do without you. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That we, that we see it, that we are favored. The Lord is mercy. His grace has chosen us. Let not allow pride. Let not allow you know our achievement. Because sometimes our achievement can make us begin to you know you know uh, 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 control our fellow human being, or be, you know, not to bring them under under our subjection, under our control. 
you can see the chief apostle, which was uh, uh, Paul. Paul, even he was the greatest apostle, but he still humbled himself. He humbled himself. Hallelujah. He was achieving so much, but he was still the, the, the most humbled. His achievement did not get into him. May God help us in the name of Jesus. I can see how great he was. See how great David was. David was still very humble. When he's saying he doesn't mind who is looking at him, he doesn't mind who is there, he will humble himself and begin to call fast and pray, begin to cry to God like a baby. Forgive me for have sinned. Even though he was a king, he was a priest. He wrote, he wrote all this psalm. You can see the benefit of humility is overemphasized. It's, it's too much. How great humility is. Nobody dear him, nobody can compare to him in write the Bible. You might see the thing that come out from him. And that was the person that the, you know, the wife was despised. May God help us in the name of Jesus. You see, when we are now prayer, prayer can destroy, prayer can tear us into pieces. See him, how prayer begin to destroy him. Build a halo for the children of I mean for Mordecai. He end up destroying himself. May the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let us continue the scripture. We'll finish it in a, in a minute. Thank you. They bring the book of memorable deeds, the chronicles, and they were read before the king. And it was found written how Mordecai had told about Bigtana and Tirish, two of the king's eunuchs, who guarded the threshold, and who had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor or distinction has been bestowed on Mordecai for this? The king's young men who attended him said, Nothing has been done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman had just entered the outer court of the king's palace to speak to the king about having Mordecai hanged on the gallows that he had prepared for him. And the king's young men told him, Haman is there, standing in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said to him, What should be done to the man whom the king delights to honor? And Haman said to himself, Whom would the king delight to honor more than me? And Haman said to the king, For the man whom the king delights to honor, let royal robes be brought, which the king has worn, and the horse that the king has ridden, and on whose head a royal crown is set. And let the robes and the horse be handed over to one of the king's most noble officials. Let them dress the man whom the king delights to honor, and let them lead him on the horse through the square of the city, proclaiming before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor. Then the king said to Haman, Hurry, take the robes and the horse, as you have said, and do so to Mordecai the Jew, who sits at the king's gate. <laughs> Leave out nothing that you have mentioned. Mm. So Haman took the robes and the horse, and he dressed Mordecai and led him through the square of the city, proclaiming before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor. Then Mordecai returned to the king's gate. But Haman hurried to his house, mourning, and with his head covered. And Haman told his wife Zeresh and all his friends everything that had happened to him. Then his wise men and his wife Zeresh said to him, If Mordecai, before whom you have begun to fall, is of the Jewish people, you will not overcome him, but will surely fall before him. <laughs> While they were yet talking with him, the king's eunuchs arrived, and hurried to bring Haman to the feast that Esther had prepared. Hallelujah. You see, the advice, the last advice that he was given, if Mordecai is of Jews, that whom he has begun to fall, that he won't get out of it. And that was what he's supposed to do. He need to humble himself. It's an opportunity. As they have come to get him for the for that for that for that feast, what is he supposed to do? I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Humility, humble himself. An opportunity the Lord has opened for him to, to escape from the disaster that he has called he has called to himself. But unfortunately, that prayer we think he think he'll be able to manipulate it out. 
he have won the heart of the king. King cannot do anything else than to do what he, he have already signed. He thought probably after the signal print had been had been stamped on those documents that been sent out, there's there's that no turning back. That mercy prevails over judgment. Mercy, mercy. When we humble ourselves, we draw mercy, and the mercy will prevail over every judgment. May we, in the name of Jesus, not allow the enemy and his lies and his deception to keep us in bondage, or to, or to continue to steal, to kill, to destroy what the Lord has destined for you and me. May we humble ourselves. May we humble ourselves. Let the spirit of unity begin to open the door and take, oh, take, take back whatever the enemy has stolen from us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, in any way we have opened our doors of our life to any kind of pride, to any kind of evil. Father Lord, we humble ourselves for Lord Jesus. Anything we are going we are going through that is that is that is that, that is linked into pride, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, that wings, that feathers of pride will pluck them, we will pull them out, we will destroy them, we will pull every seed of pride in us. Father, by your mercy, Lord, by your mercy, Lord, we pray for the spirit of humility. In the name of Jesus, you say you will humble. How you lift up the humble and, and bring down the pride. Father Lord, help us, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. And deliver us, o Lord, from every seed of pride, Lord. Let it die and never rise up again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, for your mercy. Over the children of Israel. That the enemy wanted to destroy just in one day. But your mercy turned this situation around. Because Esther, Mordecai, decided to humble themselves and fasted and pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For the victory that is that coming to us as we humble ourselves. I mean to seek your face in Jesus name amen let's continue a book of um, revelation chapter 1 to and uh, sorry revelation chapter 5 and 6 thank you lord jesus book of revelation chapter 5 and 6 Hmm, thank you, Jesus. Chapter 5 Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, Hallelujah. the root Hallelujah. of David, has Amen. conquered, Amen. so that he can open the scroll Amen. and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing mm. as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, mm. which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God, from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Then I looked, and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, 
saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them, saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. Chapter 6 Now I watched when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like thunder, Come, and I looked and behold, a white horse, and its rider had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he came out conquering and to conquer. Mm -hmm. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come! And out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth, so that people should slay one another, and he was given a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come, and I looked, and behold, a black horse, and its rider had a pair of scales in his hand, and I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse and its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with famine and with pestilence and by wild beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God mm -hmm. and for the witness they had borne. They cried out with a loud voice, O sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before you will judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then they were each given a white robe and told to rest a little longer, until the number of their fellow servants and their brothers should be complete, who were to be killed as they themselves had been. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth, the full moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. The sky vanished like a scroll that is being rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth and the great ones and the generals and the rich and the powerful and everyone, slave and free, hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains, calling to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us! and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? Who can stand? Who can stand? Who can stand? May the Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You can see the, you know, there's nothing we do here on earth that's, that, 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 that should not be revisited or go unpunished. Here in this very chapter, second chapter, is the chapter 6. Can you hear the Bible say that the, those who have been slain, the innocents, like all the abortion that we've done and all those things and all those horrible things we've done and end up killing innocent children. Here... The Bible said that they, they, they gather and acting when we, the Lord, avenge for their blood. Their blood is still calling for vengeance. Their blood is still calling for vengeance. But there's something here I want to point out here tonight. Most of those that, that the law that are calling for vengeance, for God to avenge for them, for those who killed them. Some of them, if, if for example now, if a, the thief on the cross probably has killed a lot of people, have done a lot of atrocity, 
now he, he, he is repented, including Saul, that is Paul in the Bible, he repented. Now, those that he killed, their blood is still crying for vengeance. And now the Lord has already forgiven them and cleansed them. Now, you know, <laughs> they, 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 will not, they will not get justice. In, I mean, the justice they can get, there is... Mm, they just see they have gotten already that they have repented. There's nothing they can do about it. Hallelujah. And that's the reason why in this life you don't stay there and keep waiting. Or, or, or you know, there's something horrible about this life. The person that that destroy or lead someone else to I mean to I mean to the way of 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 the of the enemy. I mean, I mean to the way of sin, and uh, you know to to. The person that the, the, I mean the person that the person that the main that makes you to turn away from God from the truth and, and, and not accept the negative and now and now you turn your back to, to God the person that made you to turn your back to God may end up repenting and now go to heaven and you that was on the right way now you now turn your way to the wrong the, I mean to the to the not to your your back to God, you end up going to hellfire. And I pray that will not be your 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 case and my case in the name of Jesus. But that's the reason why the Bible says we should run the fear. This our race with what fear and trembling. Don't allow anybody to steal your crown. What you know that is good to do, just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it. And again, in the process too. There is sometimes when some people are praying some violent kind of prayers, you will not really blame them because some of them understand the deep things of, of God. Some of them understand some of these deep things. Someone is there worshiping God in spirit and in truth. You know, Doing 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 the service before God. Have it. There's somebody from nowhere now lead you to now 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 deceive you one way or the other. Just like just as like that prophet were deceived, the other prophet will deceive the young prophet in the book in the in the book of Kings. Deceive the younger prophets. Now the younger prophet end up being derailed and died. Where is he going? Because now he, he rebelled against God. That means he cannot smell heaven. And who led him astray? The older prophet. The person is supposed to trust. He's supposed to, he's supposed to be as a mentor. The person who's supposed to be as, as, a, as a, a looking for him to lead. The Lord will ask you and me when we begin to point our hand to, to our leaders. I have given you the Bible. This Bible was like was like was a gold. It was hidden from every one of us by our rulers. God, by His special mercy, you know, forced this war to to become circulated to reach everyone. And our leaders did not want this Bible to reach us because of what? Because of the truth that is better than it. So that we always look towards them to read the Bible. You can always you know, look towards them in order to get the truth. But now the Lord has bycott all those things, all those protocols. And I made this Bible to be in your hand and my hand. Now we have no excuse. And the Lord said we shall know the truth, which is the Bible. And the truth shall what? make us free. May God help us in the name of Jesus. We have no excuse. We have no excuse. We have an excuse. And I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever the distraction, whatever the program or agenda of the enemy against our destiny, against our life, against our future, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare you will not hold in the name of you. We will scatter, we will destroy them all oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your mercy deliver us. Let your mercy, Lord, deliver us. Let your mercy deliver us. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. It's going to be horrible 
when the trumpet will sound, when the Lord will come to join this world, it's going to be horrible. It's going to be horrible. Hallelujah. Now one of the songs that we do sing in my dialect, he said, he said, he said, the Lord is singing that song. My son, my daughter, run for your life. Run for your life. Escape the wrath of God. The terrible things, horrible things, mind-blowing things, the things, the kind of affliction and the kind of, uh, you know, a, a punishment you never expected in your whole entire life. On a on a imaginable, you know, a, a punishment will be released to those who reject or those who are playing with their salvation. Christ knows how horrible that day will be. And that's the reason why he has come here to the earth. In order to save you and me. If it's not going to be horrible or if it's going to be just like the way you think it's going to be. Then he will not bother to come. He will not bother. But now he has come. And therefore he has shed his blood. He has given us all the tools that we need. We have to draw closer to him. And I pray in the name of Jesus that this wonderful book of revelation that the Lord has revealed to us will draw our attention closer and closer and make us to see the reality and the things that's definitely going to happen here on earth and so that we can run for our lives in the name of Jesus. And let every snail, let every blockages that the enemy has put against our sincerity, put against our, our relationship between Jesus and God. In the name of the decree, the name of Lord Jesus, let those activities of his be disappointed and be destroyed. Be scattered in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, just tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. It's going to be horrible. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Before the angels of destructions are released, the angels in the horses are released. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. And here, in, in the previous uh, verse, I mean chapter, verse 5, there's something here the Lord said in that verse scripture. He said, he talks about um, and, and the, the creatures with, um, with horn, seven horn and seven eyes. Seven hundred and seven eyes. That seven hundred and seven eyes talks about the spirit of God, and that's the, the those are the, the the ingredient that we need if we have this seven spirit of God. Both the horn and the eyes, they're the same thing. If we have this seven spirit of God, it will help us to overcome whatever issue, whatever difficulty, no matter how manipulate manipulative the enemy can be. We definitely there's no way we cannot overcome. How they and those seven spirits of God have been seen in the book of Isaiah. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter, chapter 11, from verse 2. How they he say, And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon 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 him. That is spirit of spirit of spirit of God, spirit, spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding. That means in, that's the reason why the Bible says everything we get, let's get wisdom. Let them get understanding. Spirit of knowledge, spirit of counsel, spirit of might, and spirit of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. I say, and it's the light, the delight of this, of this very, you know, seven spirits of God. Hallelujah. Shall be upon, sorry, shall, shall be in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by what you know, is the ISIS or decide this put by what the ear hears. Hallelujah. But with what righteousness he shall judge the, the, the earth, he shall judge the poor. Hallelujah. Then when we allow this seven spirit of God to dwell in us, ask for the ask for it. We pray for it. Seek seek for it like, 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 as gold. Seek for it as for treasure. Definitely we'll find. Hallelujah. Because the spirit of, of, of the fear of God is very, very important. It will help us to, to keep us in check. Hallelujah. The spirit of wisdom will help us to overcome a lot of wicked, you know, manipulation of the enemy. Understanding is there. It very, very, we need it. the spirit of might. We need the same thing like spirit of power. 
Turn on you. Because the spirit of we need the spirit of power to be able to stand against the very dash of the enemy and cross, stand up in, in prayer. We don't give room to laziness, we don't give room to excuses. Hallelujah. The spirit of power, we need it. We stand up, hallelujah. The Bible said that the that that the that the that the that the bodily exercise profits. Hallelujah. But the spiritual exercise who did, did what does what profit more, much more. Hallelujah. We need the spirit of mind. Always, always, always ready on the go. In the name of Jesus. In the spirit of knowledge. And I pray in the name of Jesus. All this that the Lord will help us and increase us. And help us to go deeper and deeper in them. Hallelujah. And uh, it, 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 must, it must know that all these spirit, the seven spirit of God, are centered with what? In love. Love. Without, because without love, they are all of them, they are just meaningless. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because these spirits of God stand like what? They stand like, like, like the eyes. Eyes we used to see into the into the deep things. So we will not be ignorant of, of the of manipulation of the enemy. It's not like a horn. No horn means for strength. It's not like these seven spirits of God stand as, as horn. As what? As, 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 as eyes to see. Hallelujah. And when we have this very seven spirit of God in us, we'll be like those creatures that the Lord mentioned in the word of God. The Bible said that they have eyes in every area, every part of their body's eyes. Every part of their body. And they have eyes all over. Hallelujah. Because the enemy will not be able to over, overcome us. And I pray the Lord strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Right now, I want us to begin to pray and ask the Lord, please, Lord, help me. Help me in the name of Jesus. Strengthen your Lord. Fill me, Lord Jesus, with your spirit. Fill me, Lord, with spirit of understanding, spirit of mind, power of understanding, the fear of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord Jesus, fill me, Lord, with the spirit of counsel. In the name of Jesus. Understand the wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Man, let it rest upon us. Let it rest upon us. Let it rest upon us. Let it rest. Let it rest. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of counsel, the spirit of counsel. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Rest, 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 rest upon your children, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Then the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, rest upon us. The spirit of the fear of the Lord, rest upon us. In the name of spirit of counsel, rest upon us. In the name of spirit of might, rest upon us. Spirit of wisdom, rest upon us. Understanding, rest upon us. Knowledge, rest upon us. The spirit of the Lord, rest upon us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to Thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, we bow ourselves to you once again tonight, O Lord. As the Lord, every way we have opened the door for the enemy, we command those doors to be shut, O Lord, by your mercy. Have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, just tonight, Master, let your spirit, O Lord Jesus, the spirit, O Lord Jesus, Master, rest upon us, O Lord. In the name of Lord, Master, empower us, O Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen our eyes, strengthen our horns. Strengthen us, O Lord Jesus, Mass Sunday River, to always, O Lord Jesus, be ready and be there for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever agenda and plan of the enemy against our lives, we declare them cancelled and destroyed in the name of Jesus. For let your will prevail in every area of our lives, and your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. We use the opportunity to bring our brother and sister, those who, 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 who who have one issue or the other, or who are backsliding, I ask Lord, you let your mercy in the name of Jesus draw them back, call Lord Jesus, to back to the fold in the name of Jesus. We disconnect them from any, 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 any anchor of the enemy over their life. We disconnect them, we cut off 
every evil mass and evil rotate, every evil chain in the name of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit take charge, O Lord, and bring to lead them in the path of truth and righteousness. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen and amen and amen. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus' name. And right now, I want us to really go straight straight down now to the, our confessions. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight. Blessed be your holy name. Our confessions, our confessions. Psalm chapter. Psalm chapter 23. Move tonight, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end. We're going to play it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As you confess, Lord Jesus, we decree and declare that this world has settled in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 23, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 59. To the choir master, according to Do Not Destroy, a victim of David, when Saul sent men to watch his house in order to kill him. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil and save me from bloodthirsty men. Amen. Psalm 144 of David. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. O oh Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Flash forth the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high 
Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a ten-stringed harp I will play to you, who gives victory to kings, who rescues David his servant from the cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. May our sons in their youth be like plants full grown, our daughters like corner pillars, cut for the structure of the palace. May our granaries be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Psalm 124, a song of ascents of David. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when people rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us up alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the flood would have swept us away, the torrent would have gone over us, then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Before we finish, hallelujah, they just sing this song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is higher above every other name. We're going to sing it 21 times. And after that, 21 times, then we'll finish. Hallelujah. As you are singing it, let your mind go straight. If you need God to increase you spiritually, you know, let your mind be towards your spiritual growth. If there's sickness, let your mind be towards that. If there's some issues, other issues in your life, or your family, or children, or your spouse, let your mind be there. Those core things that the Spirit of God is, is, is alerting you, let your mind be there in the name of Jesus. And right now, we bind every spirit of destruction, every spirit of outside mindedness. The, we cast you out in the name of Jesus. We we'll destroy your works in the name of Jesus. For the Lord, this time will dedicate this this, this time to you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We'll barricade our ears, barricade our mind. In the name of Jesus. We will receive what you have for all this moment. In the name of Jesus. 21 times. His name is highest above every other name. In the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen and amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Your name is higher above all the names. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is higher above all the names. Your name. Your name is Lord, your name is higher above all the names. Your name is Jesus, your name is Lord, your name is higher above all the names. Your name Oh
Oh, 
God bless you for joining us once again tonight. May the Lord encourage you, may the Lord perfect all that concerns you and give you peace all around in the name of Jesus. I say uh, shalom to you all. Have a wonderful and a wonderful night rest. Uh, but I guess we will see you again in the early in the morning, 5 4.30 in the name of God bless you all and uh, good night. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>